Let's talk about certain steps a shop should do to be considered a, a well-run shop and shop that you would want to bring your vehicle into, okay? The biggest thing is in management, ownership. What do they have for core values, okay? Because that will get passed along to your employees what expectations are, okay? So if the owner or management say, hey, things done right, we don't shortcut nothing, we use quality stuff, that's what gets down to the employees that do the work. Okay, two, you got to use quality parts. You cannot be using parts that are low quality from the parts stores or just you know they're not going to last. You got to use OE, OEM parts. That's very, very key. That's a step that I see, I see a lot of shops mess up at. It's right there. Okay, three, you have to have good employees that are going to follow the policies, procedures, stuff like that you have in place to ensure the work coming out of the shop is quality work. They clean the, the surface. They use proper techniques when they torque the uh, fasteners. They replace what's needed to be replaced. They bring up to attention, hey, what needs to be looked at? We saw this when we were in there. This belt's cracked. This gasket's leaking. They bring it to your attention so they can bring it to the customer's attention, okay? They're looking at your best interest as the customer when they look at your vehicle when they work on it. They don't just see it as, I get it done fast, I get paid. They want to look at it thoroughly, do their best job they can. That's an employee you want in your business. It's key. Four, you have to have the mindset that our standards are up here at all times. There's given days where you're not in a great mood. Things aren't going good. Things are going really bad. And it's easy to drop that. You can't. You got to keep the same. The same at all times, no matter what the circumstances that come. Uh, you have to keep those standards up for a reason because if you're inconsistent, one day works great, the next day you guys are leaving bolts off, uh, vehicles are coming back, that's it's gonna hurt your name. It's gonna, it's gonna be known that your, your work's not consistent, that when they bring a vehicle to you, when they get it back, they may have to return because you left something off. So quality control is huge. I always have a guy or me or someone look at the vehicle, technician's done, we'll drive the vehicle, make sure all the monitors are run, we confirm the repair, make sure nothing's leaking. All those steps are important so when the customer picks it up and they leave, they don't have a check engine light come on or they're leaking fluid and they have to bring it back the next day. Um, yes, things can happen that you, you check it, quality control's great, quality control's great, nothing is coming up and something else happens, that's a different issue. Um, you just deal with it. How you deal with it as a shop is gonna be uh, the considering factor how the customer is gonna uh, basically come back to see you. So for example, you put an alternator on a vehicle, okay? They say it leaves and there's a completely different issue. The starter goes out. Customer thinks it's related. And depending how you take care of the situation with the customer, it's really gonna how they're gonna see you as a shop. Um, sometimes vehicles break down in the shop. It's not your fault. Customers, it's, it's their vehicle. A lot of times you work with customers to try to help out that situation. It's not good for you, it's not good for them. It just happens and things go, will break while you're working on the vehicle that you're not even touched. That's, but it's how you approach the customer about that. Some customers, like I understand, will take care of it. Others are upset and you just gotta, t uh, we would eat it. You know, we, we would take care of the customer, obviously it's something like that, uh, considering what the component that failed was. But as an owner, you have to know how to address that situation when it occurs. Different for each basis, it's, it's not the same. Each client is gonna be different. Some are easy going, they understand it, they know their practices, they understand how cars can break. Some can be like, they have no understanding whatsoever. All they know is they brought in for a water pump and now their brakes went out and they want to know why. So it doesn't happen often, but you have to know how to get that problem, how to resolve it. Because if you, you just say, I'm not doing anything, it's not my problem, it's your vehicle. Well, they can get mad and they, they're going to be your worst enemy because everybody they talk to, they're going to badmouth your shop. And the other way, if you say, I'll take care of it, I'll help you out, I understand it. Everybody I talk to, this shop's awesome, they're honest, they took care of me. So it's, you, you gotta know how you, you mitigate it, because it can go a lot of different directions. But the key is, you gotta have a staff in place, you gotta use the right parts, you have to have the mindset, quality work, over anything else. If you want the car re repaired, you confirm your repairs. That's, you have to do drive time, drive cycles, to confirm the monitors, run and complete. So for example, let's say you did a catalytic converter, you replaced it. You would drive that vehicle until that readiness monitor passed with no fault codes. 
that's a confirmation that your repair is successful. If you just replace it and ship it, you don't know for, if it's a successful operation. If it comes back, then it makes you look bad. So comebacks hurt the shop, hurts you everywhere. Uh, our goal here is to have no comebacks, you know. Uh, that's our goal. We, our guys know that. We want the vehicle to be repaired the first time, confirm the repair, quality control it, and let it go. And then we'll do a follow-up with the customer and make sure everything's good. But that's the key to the success. To the next one. See ya.